Everybody get to read the minutes? Yes. I, mean, I, go ahead. I recommend approval as written. Mm, the first motion. Do you have a second? I'll second. Ms. Dino. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Seeing none, we move on. Motion passes. Uh, public input. Do we have any? None. None? Okay. Um, discussion items. Letter A, resolution 2258. Mr. Chavez. Yes, sir. <clears throat> I have a, a bar resolution 2258 to adjust the 2223 fiscal year budget to include ex an expense increase to fund 213 ARPA grant public libraries in the amount of $7,385. A revenue and expense increase to fund 286 in Canvas in the amount of $100,000. A revenue and expense increase to fund 214 in the amount of $2,673,773. A revenue expense increase to fund 282 in the amount of $18,000. And a decrease to fund 771 in the amount of $74,187. A revenue expense increase to fund 217 um, in the center in the amount of $4,611. Questions? Mr. Yes, sir. Go ahead. <laughs> um, real quick, can you tell me there are three funds uh, listed here without titles on them? Can you tell me what they are? For uh, first one is 200, uh, 214, fund 214. What's the title of that fund? That one is co ops, street co ops. I'm sorry, what? Street, street co ops projects. In other words, and, uh, DOT? Yes. Street clubs. Yep. What about um, 282? 282 is a senior center. Okay. My apologies. Oh, I, I didn't know that. Sorry. Uh, and what about 771? That is the ARPA funds. What does that stand for? Hey, American Planet. Okay. Which, excuse me, Mr. Yes. Which is what? the ARPA? No, um, 217? Two, 217? Two yes. No. Oh, no. no, no, 771. Mm -hmm. Right? Correct. 771. Does 74,000? Yes, ma'am. And then I have one other question. Yes, sir. Um, on page 3 of the um, document that's attached here, um, the... Um, the backup document, I, I know this is a nit, but the backup document um, on, on fund 214 um, adds out to uh, the last three numbers, 772, and you have 773 listed. Correct. What's and the difference? Well, because in budget we don't use change, so the actual amount was... Was 10 cents, uh, right? 10 cents, correct. Okay, so in one case you round it up, in the other case you didn't. Right, I just need to make that correction. All right, minor nit. Um, and then the last question is, on that third page, mm -hmm. there's a two thousand, a 2,781,157 listed on the right column. What is that? That's a good question. I don't have that. Third page of the... Right here. What are these two numbers right there? Oh, one of those. It looks like it's listed as an extension of the senior center. Uh, I think it's just a summary of the agreement. Mm 
It's just the sum of those three figures. It doesn't have any significance. So it can come up. Oh, so that first two point seven million is the sum of those four the uh, three numbers. And what's the one below it? That one right there. That's the sum of the entire amount. So the entire total. Yeah, it sounds like it's um it's a kind of a running total kind yes. of thing. All right, I got it. Mr. Chairman, does this mean we're going to get a mill and overlay on University Avenue? Uh, Two point four. For is that going to try to do this fall or next year? Uh, probably not till next year. I would say, but everything is. is, is it needs it. It yeah, needs it. And the weather and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's a. It, it's a, It's not only university. It's also uh, up from university over to national. That section on um, Eighth Street. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, that's included on this. Okay, yeah, good. And that was a uh, seventy-five, twenty-five uh, percent matching funds from the Nimesco DOT. The city put in in one hundred and thirty-three thousand. That's great. That's good. We're also applying for that match with you. Any other questions? Mr. Chairman, I recommend approval of, uh, resolution? of this resolution. Um, 2258? Yes, 2258. Is there any questions? I'll second the motion. Okay. Yeah, all those, um, roll call, please. Alan Franken. Four. Uh, right. Yes. Robert Reuters. Me? Yes. <laughs> Francina Martinez. Yes. <laughs> Motion passes. We'll move on to letter B, October Finance Report. <clears throat> and for the general fund, we have the October 31st, 2022. Our revenues are in at 4195829 with expenditures at $4,185,434 for a surplus to date of 10395 On our enterprise fund, our revenues are in at $5,148,523 with expenditures at $4,890,942 for a surplus of $257,580. Our recreation center, our revenues are in at $171,124 with expenditures at $136,187 for a surplus to date of $34,937. Larger tax, our revenues are in at $294,328 with expenditures at $130,042 for a surplus to date. Hundred and sixty-four thousand two hundred and eighty-six. Uh, cannabis revenues are in at thirty-five thousand two fourteen with their expenditures at one thousand zero fifty-six for a surplus of thirty-four thousand one hundred and fifty-eight. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I have a question on that one, yes, sir. if I could. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Um, two things. Um, I noticed that you have now, in accordance with state gu uh, guidance, yes, you've established a budget now for the cannabis um, income that's going to come in at $100,000. Now, how does that work? With that, that resolution that we just did established the budgets for it, but it's now the responsibility of the... Uh, 
the city council to allocate where that funding goes. Is that correct? Correct. Yes. Yeah, and they haven't done that yet. No, sir. Um, I, I did hand it over to the city manager last week with um, what the expect can use for expenses, and so him and mayor and council will go through that. And okay. Are there any restrictions on how that money can be spent? The, uh, not that I'm aware of, but I'm sure something will pop up. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sal salaries. They're they're allowed. Yeah. There's already mm -hmm. expenses in. Or? No, it's just the uh, the GIT expenses. That's it. I need Mayor and Council, I have already asked uh, our city manager mm -hmm. <coughs> to give us a layout on how or what requirements or what restrictions there are for spending uh, the cannabis, the uh, opioid, opioid, opioids, and then um, the, what is it, ARPO? ARPO funding. Okay. That we have this. So he's supposed to be uh, coming up with uh, those rules, regulations, policies, or uh, direction as to how we can spend it, and then Mayor and Council are going to start uh, deciding how that money is going to be spent. Okay. Yeah. And I have one last question on that on that chart that you uh, gave us. Under the cannabis, um, at the very bottom, it, it says cannabis GRT expenses, mm -hmm. and then under FY 2023 budget, it's got 733,000. What's that number? <laughs> that was copied over. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. It. So it's really zero right now. It's huh? zero, correct. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. So they're just handing this money over to you from the county, correct? Correct. With no guidelines no grant expectations there is no expectations but there are guidelines okay dominic is this hundred thousand a real number or is this a projection that you're you're the anticipating yes we just do we just do projection on that based on what we're coming through september we have over a little over twenty five thousand, so we just made a round figure for, for four quarters for four quarters and is it just common practice for the city to to bar th these allocations without having a budget in place for them already for example let's say you know you're going to be receiving this mm -hmm. you don't meet with i'm not sure if it's your city manager and say how do you want me to bar this okay the hundred thousand there's already a plan in place you're going to use x amount for playgrounds x amount for police car x amount whatever it is mm -hmm. then you bar it at the same time I, I, that's well, just Sure. How I've seen it done, like where I work, sure. before I bar anything, I it already has a plan. Because when you're starting to put stuff on your books already, it's live. I feel like it's a live number up there. And you can, <laughs> whoever walks in the door and says, I need something, okay, at that point, well, you already have budget for it. And right. so you can actually and with this create an expenditure for it. But you, you know what I'm saying? So if I got an award letter for... Two million seven hundred thousand dollars. Okay, I would meet, let's say, with my superintendent and and say, how did you do you want to discuss how we're going to budget this? So by the time it hits the council or the board, there's a plan already. Okay, it's it, they go hand in hand. There's because when you're doing it this way, this hundred thousand. Okay, Miss Francina saying, well, what can you spend with it? Well, we're not sure yet. So yeah. why even bring it to the table yet if you're not sure how you're going to to spend the funds? But that's just me. That's just how. You know. Yeah. What are your guidelines? Well, uh, I'm letting. just saying you have you already have a plan. You do you do have a plan. Your ARP that's seventy five thousand for example. Mm -hmm. You know. Right. Do you have X amount for general material and supplies? Do you have X amount for whatever it is? You know. Right. Do you understand what I'm saying? I know exactly what you're saying. They go together, and, and that and way, you're, the, things aren't just going to get spent, right? Um, because it's there already. You already have budget for it, you know. Right, and that's the reason why. I'm, well, um, DFA did not allow us to budget this until after the first quarter, so that we could give an idea of where we'd be standing. And so, with this bar that we're doing now, I'm putting the revenue and expense line items in there, 
And whenever mayor and council, city manager do decide, we can do a line item transfer, and, and that doesn't have to come from. And it, it, it'd be hard for us to budget something that we don't know what we're getting. Well, at the time, uh, because that's like when the ARPO, you know. last year we got mm -hmm. 1.2. Mm -hmm. 1.5 million. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So we weren't sure exactly what we're getting this year. Mm -hmm. It was we would get, be getting something, but we didn't know that, what numbers. And then we didn't know if the policy or, or the way of spending it was going to change or not. But uh, even with the cannabis, we didn't know what numbers we were going to be working with. So it's it's kind of ridiculous to to plan for a $100 million project when you're only going to get 30000 for instance. So that's why we're waiting to see exactly how much mm -hmm. money's coming in and how much we're getting. So then we know we got it in the bank. Now we know what we can do with it because there's big projects and there's little projects. Uh, there's all assorted projects that we can we can attack. But that's where American Council decide, well, do we want to split it by water? Do we want to do this one project or do we want to do four projects? You know, what, 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 you know, what's the need? And then, of course, with the recommendation of the city manager, finance director, and, 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 and all staff, um, that's, that's how we come to those conclusions uh, as to how, to how we spend it at the end of the day. Yeah. So, Dinah. Because the need's there. We have a lot of projects. For example, right now we have we've received an allocation and a lot of money to meet eight hundred thousand dollars, but it's in our cash, it's in our bank account, but we haven't barred it. I haven't come to the board and say I want to spend this. We're going to, we have it, but yeah. it's not being touched because we're waiting. Let's talk, you know, and see how how do we want to spend this? Of course, it's maintenance. Okay, yeah. it has to pertain to maintenance, but until we have a plan, then. We'll proceed and go before the board and say I have a bar to present what you call this. Uh, oh, what do you guys call yours? Uh, resolution. Resolution. Okay. <laughs> then you, you know. Then you've got to break broke it down. This is what we're going to do. Okay. In the meantime, it's safe in the bank. Right. Okay. But it's to me. I don't. Call, it's not live. I call it live. You know what I'm saying? It's budget. Once you got budget, hey, all you need now is an expenditure. You know yeah. what I mean? Once to create a PO, let's create a PO. <laughs> ready to go well um, but you need a plan but being that everything has to come through the finance committee um that's put a little bit of a damper on things because now i can't take anything to council to the second meeting of the month mm -hmm. before i mean we could have discussions we could get it done right away and everybody would be happy but now i can only do things once right. a month and is so, the timing of the finance yeah, honestly we coming to with, uh, with another bar i've been here every month you know what I mean? And it's kind of, do we actually need to do that? But I prefer coming to you all once, twice a year. <laughs> what does the law say? Huh? What does the law say? You, you need a finance committee? Ours does. We this, do. This we committee met quarterly for yeah. until we came on, and we were going to meet monthly mm -hmm. until we got up to speed. And we're I guess I'm not still up to speed anyway. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, the, 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 <laughs> the charter requires a finance committee. Yes. Yeah. Mr. 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 Chairman, I had a question. So, go ahead, sir. Just on the, uh, Mr. Chavez, so on the transfers out of the general fund, mm -hmm. I see the 366, I should have my glasses with me, and uh, 366,000 out. I don't see where it went. I, I figure it's got to be there somewhere. Rec uh, Recreation got 140,000 of it. Mm -hmm. But do we show where the rest goes on these financials? Not on these withdrawals. Is there general entries to show? Yes. At some point when I feel well, like... Well, it'd be we nice to made. balance them, see right. where that money's going. Yeah. Uh, because we were in the deficit last month, right? By 411000 That was a, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Great. It, it, it was, was right. It was Wonderful. It was fixed by Wednesday's meeting. Wonderful. Yeah, that's, that's, good. that's great news. <clears throat> yeah, no, so, that, yeah. Because I was going to ask, yeah. how could you fix 411000 yeah. in one month? <laughs> no, in well, two, two days. Yeah. <laughs> what took place with that, Dana, was the fact that great. That's there great. was 92.6% of the pay per view yes. was last year's pay per but it got paid on July 1st. And so that entire pay per view, I mean, one day out of the pay per view, belongs to this year. The rest would belong to last year, and so that's what you saw. Mm -hmm. 
That's how come it was so easy, Diane. Uh, uh, <laughs> to fix it in 30 days? Uh, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to see the drill entries, to be honest with you. <laughs> something, so, you know, uh, for half a million, close to half a million to just walk in the door or in the mail or a wire uh, to transfer. <laughs> Diana, I had a question back on what you were talking about, about the barring issue. In your world, do you ever bar the revenue or income separate from the expense? You no. always do the two together, they right? They go together. Okay. Uh, because I could see that in, in certain circumstances, you might want to bar the income when you know it's there or you suspect it's coming in, like the estimate of 100000 for the cannabis mm -hmm. revenue from the GRT. But you never, you never separate the... Never. Okay. And, and why is that? Because that does feel right to me that you of would course, do that. I, that's how we've always done it. Maybe that's how PED wants us to do it. Yeah, but okay. I can see the reasoning because when I see this here, I just see the room for other things to be spent from that budget. Because Without proper approval. Correct. Yeah, correct. I, I see Like the 100000 I see a point. Okay. And, and it could be spent on anything. You know, all you have to do is is um, bar it wherever you say you're going to, you know, whether it's going to be, you know, like I said, if you're going to spend it on general material and supplies or whatever the case may be. But at least you're saying this is what it's going to be spent on. Right. There's transparency that goes along with it. Yep, okay. I got it. Because if you're not saying... Well, now anything is possible. You know what I'm saying? That you can spend it on, well, we don't that that's what it was going to be spent on, right? Anytime you're dealing with, with money, you know, transparency is always very important to let everybody know. That's, to me, I couldn't, like I said, you know, you would need to. Yeah, all those decisions do come out of the city yeah. manager's office through mayor and council. But we do know in this case, in the case of the hundred thousand for the cannabis, um, it's right at the forefront of the uh, councilor's mind, and they're they're working with the city manager to come up with what that's going to be spent on. So that's probably not going to be frittered away in some other fashion, just because it's already barred. You could okay. See, yeah. Whatever playground equipment or. To... And it could, uh, we created its own fund for that specific challenge because we can't come in with anything else. Mm -hmm. Your ARP funds, have they all been spent down? You're, you're only borrowing, what, 7000 7, No, actually, I put in the entire amount. Okay. That 74000 with some corrections to, um, to maintenance. Um, I budgeted the whole 1.595027 and it hasn't been touched. And you're, you're probably going to meet with your council to see how that's going they to will be make allocated? Decision, correct. And you said that was 1.5? 1,595027. It's by quick. <laughs> well, it seems like a lot, but it goes, it goes really quick. <laughs> Any other questions on letter B? <clears throat> okay, we'll um, move on to letter C, October, AP checklist. <clears throat> Mr. Witters. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I have four quick questions, if I could, on the, uh, the AP listing. Um, first question is on page two. Um, and, and this is a general question just because I'm not up to speed yet. Um, if I look at um, the uh, invoices, they have a number uh, in uh, the top of page, uh, it's in blue letters at the top of page two. It's 643. Is that the account code that the funds are going to come from that are going to pay this invoice? That's correct. That's the fund number. Okay. And are those the Tyler numbers? Yes. Okay. So I can compare them uh, to the Tyler numbers and see where we're spending it. 
my next question is on page 14. And there are several entries on petty cash. And in the world I come from, petty cash can be problematic and can be a, a source of, uh, of problems and even fraud. Uh, how do you handle petty cash here at the city? If I, if I need to go buy something for five bucks mm -hmm. and I, I want five bucks worth of petty cash, how, how do I do that? Um, the majority of the time, I do not like to give advances. Okay. Um, if an expense is made, like you said, five bucks to go buy, buy some bolts at, at BTU, yeah. you can have them here. Um, you go do that, bring back your receipt, you have to fill out a form. The form has to be signed by the individual supervisor. And then it has to come to the finance office. And once that's all signed and said, the finance department will contact that individual to come pick up their, their petty cash. And so somebody in the finance department holds the petty cash box, is that correct? Yes. Um, and yes. they know the procedure and the procedure is rigorous enough that it just can't be frittered away. Only two of us do it. Okay. And how often do you reconcile the petty cash box? We only have three hundred dollars in the petty cash. And okay. So once we start getting getting a little bit low, um, Ms. Ellen or we'll do a check request to replenish petty cash. So what do you do, uh, Eleanor? Do you you take all the receipts, add them up? And then add what's left in the petty cash box, and that should add to eight hundred bucks. Three hundred. How much? Three hundred. Oh, okay. And then, and then when you need to replenish it, how does that happen? We'll cut a check to accounts payable, and we'll get, uh, cash that check at the bank. And okay. Who does who does that ca cash checking? Uh, you do that. So you go down to the bank, cash the check, bring the the money back, and it goes into the petty cash. Yes. And okay. when I bring it back. I will count it in front of another person. Usually, it's the other accountant. We'll okay. We'll count it in. Okay. To make sure that we're the cash that I brought back in also pulls back to the three hundred. Okay. So in this case, on page fourteen, it looks like. Um, did I get page fourteen right here? Yes, sir. Um, it looks like um, there was what. Uh, 276 bucks spent with a, a series of entries on petty cash. Mm -hmm. that, is that okay with you? Or is that too much, too little? Is that okay to have it's that? It's fine. Um, this, this particular situation, um, whenever we were doing, as you can see, the one for 122.96. Yeah. Um, whenever the city was doing the water distribution over across the street at the rec center, we did petty cash to buy a staff. Um, lunch. And so in this situation, I did give an advance. This individual went to the Walmart, whatever, yeah. group, so, and made the purchase, and then she brought back the petty cash. So you don't have a dollar limit on a petty cash? City manager's approval can go up to 300. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. My next question is page 15. Um, it's Sizzling Caesar's Pizza. And it looks like the city bought pizza for a special event. That, um, that was another water distribution, and they actually went through appeal with, on this on this specific. Yeah. Event. Okay. Right. And this was where the city was uh, handing out a uh, bottled water to the citizens. That's correct. Okay. All right. So, so for this, that entire time that they were distributing water, for the majority of it, they didn't feed the staff. Staff coming in, they would leave, would come back, do whatever it is. Um, then the city manager decided, you know what, these people are out there working, let's, let's go ahead and feed them. So initially, we just were doing pizza. And Little Caesar's Pizza every week was one of those things. So the deputy city manager decided maybe let's do sandwiches this time. And that's where you saw on page 14 where Christina Baca, she went and picked up sandwiches from Walmart. Okay, yeah. and, but this was for that. It's it's a special event, but it was a water distribution That's event correct. for the citizens. Yes, sir. Okay, and it was it was approved by the city manager or the deputy city manager. City manager. Okay. All right. 
Dominic, that was a working lunch, correct? Huh? Working lunch. Oh, works, yeah. Yes, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, okay. and that's fair. Those yeah. folks. Um, I think that that's that's a fair thing yes. at, from time to time. My last question is page um, fifty-eight, um, right at the bottom there, and and help me out again. I think we've talked about this. All of this, uh, there's pages that come out of account seven seven seven. What is that again? Uh, it's page fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty, sixty. It's payroll. What? Payroll. Yeah. So, so how does that work? Um, in other words, why is there a separate account for payroll? I guess that's really my question. This is the liability side. Every every department has the expense side. Yes. And so, whenever we pay, like just last week we got paid, that that side is going to hit every department. This is in the background. We never actually touch this account for the 777. The system does it itself. So the system uses it internally? Correct. Oh. Uh, okay. And and account 777 is a, a payroll account? Correct. In, in the system. Okay. All right. That answers my questions, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. I had a bunch, but I couldn't find my notes. I do remember seeing one from the CDWG. Is the finance director over the accounts payable department? Yes. Yes. There was one I think that was to CDWG and it just said to pay for past due invoices. So there was more than one past due invoice. It says it, it, did anybody see that one? Look back if there maybe there was maybe two, three invoices that were attached to that one. And I thought it was CDWG. Now was that from a prior year? I wrote them all down. And now I, I misplaced my notes. Um, but what it looked like they did is they just grouped, let's say four in four invoices that were from the prior year and just created a new purchase order. And that says, okay, let's pay three hundred dollars, you know, three hundred and fifty, um, whatever those four invoices added up to. Um, and that very well could have taken place, yes. Okay, to well, um, I uh, first of all, we're in November, so that's June. That's a few months out, so that'd be an audit finding number one. But why not separate them out and say, please refer to PO number from the prior year and attach that same PO where that specific item was mm -hmm. requested, okay? Because now you're just saying whoever, whatever department it could have been, let's say it was IT, for example, and I'm just saying that because I see them sitting in the back. <laughs> <laughs> um, they could have just said, okay, they ordered four, uh, four times, four orders without appeal. Um, I just, um, that's, I, I feel that you need to separate them out, okay? Separate them out and just go into, and just say, please refer to PO number 4555, mm -hmm. which was so that, you know, when the auditor looks at it, they're gonna say, oh, okay, this belonged to last year's order. This other order, you're just grouping a bunch of invoices together and just creating one invoice. Are you looking at that one? Mm -hmm. Oh. And then you and then and then and then it said on there at there that they were passage of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm saying, oh how easy for the auditor. You're making the job for the auditor so <laughs> easy. No, 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 it's so easy. You're right. You know. No Give me the finding. I, I, you know. God and I had a lot of questions, but um but since I can't find my notes, but that one I did stick out. Um, I put it on there for Did he? Where is it? Go up again. Um, that one? Okay, it says office supplies. Um, no, it actually, it spelled out everything that I just said. It said that on the, on the description, you know what I mean? It just said past due invoices from prior year. 
and I'm not sure if they listed the in, you know each um, invoice uh, separately. No, that doesn't. But it did say, say past you know that they were past due. That one has payment for old invoices, but it breaks them down, which what they were. Yeah, because you could always say uh, half of it. You know, it breaks come. down the expense okay. items. Okay. 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 Made payment old invoices. So did they have a appeal to those? Must have on the yep. bottom three that they're paid. That they're just showing the dollars and the. Mm -hmm. um, it must have. But yeah, well, no, you can see them <laughs> you know right there. I mean? You can see the numbers. See but the. Those are invoice numbers, right? Well, they're fund numbers as well. Mm -hmm. um, that one is the appeal one. number because appeal comes see. before the invoice. Well, I can see Purchase order request. Two invoices. Three invoices. Well, None of these show purchase orders. Not in this report. No, not in this report. Payment for old invoices, correct. Where so are you? So let's say, so let's, yeah, CDWG. What page so, are you on, please? 49. 49. 49. Through your screen. Over there. <coughs> your screen here. Thank you. And maybe it's just one, is it one invoice? Looks like there's multiple. You Correct. Highlighted it? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what I thought too. Yeah. I so if there's multiple, did they all three? In, in to me, in my opinion, that's me with my evil mind thinking that there's they were just grouped. But do they belong to different purchase orders? And if by looking at this, I wouldn't say so because of the fact that they're all the same fund. Do you understand what I'm saying, Dominic? Yes, ma'am. They should be tied to appeal. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay. And hopefully it's the same PO. And I hope it's the same <coughs> PO, but it could be misleading. <coughs> it could be three PO's. Yeah, because it could have come in back well, order. This one was back order, of course. Yes, it could, it could have be been a back, a back order. Or and... it just got lost. The invoice got lost and it wasn't paid because yeah. they are telling you right off the bat that. They're old invoices. Yeah. How old? Okay. Because it sounds better when you're saying, oh, it was a back order, we were waiting, especially with way But COVID even at that, been, the invoice would everybody. not be old. If it's a back order, your, your invoice will be yes. current. Current. Yes. yes. So it couldn't be a back order. Yes. It could have been a misplaced, and, and I know accounts payable is a very busy and tedious job. Mm -hmm. It is. Well, we've got to make it look good. <laughs> yeah, but that, you know. And I know I had more questions, guys, but I, I lost my notes. Mm -hmm. I went through all of them. There was a big one also for um, playground equipment. For what area was that? There's three of them. There's, there was three invoices three for this areas. month? or. Three areas. One of is Keys Park, Lincoln Park, and up in um, what's it called up on top of the hill? In my neighborhood, Crystal. Mm -hmm. Crystal Circle. Crystal Circle. Those three, and of course we have yeah uh, yeah those three. See the same with three different invoice numbers on there now. Okay. Do you do you scan anything that there's, goes into accounts payable? There's a purchase order number on those three three different items. And so on the whenever they do the purchase requisition, they have to they have to indicate 
if this was a, a, a prior year appeal or whatever the case may be, they have to indicate that on there. There's not a lot of room in Tiger to put mm -hmm. all the descriptions or the entire description, if you will. Do you pick so your description or do you type in the description? They're typed. Because those three, I'm sure, what it looks like to me, those three become a brand new PO. They have a brand new PO number for X, Y, and Z. Yeah. So, nope, the only description on there is indicating the contract number that expires 10 30 23. That's the description that was on the purchase record. So, the okay. description was created at the PO process, not at the invoice process? Uh, no, the description is created at the purchase requisition. So, it wasn't at the invoice process. How about any scanning? Do you all scan any of your documents? You know, it's sad to see. You know, no accounts payable being scanned, payable being scanned, HR being scanned, any of that. Clerk's office is the only one that has, um, and we have microfilms. We did have a presentation on Friday from Digitech. They came down and presented to us. Um, and that's something that the city managers what did what did you think on his presentation? It was it was good. Um, I think there's a lot of things that short of the fact that they'd come in and actually do it for us. I know. You know what I mean? Because for somebody to sit down and scan all the documents that we have, which is unbelievable, it would take I know we just have to hire another staff to do it, you know what I mean? But if mm -hmm. they were to come in and do it themselves. At what cost? I'm not sure. PDS, did they come and talk to you as well? Maybe no. about a year ago? No. <coughs> I and maybe, I don't know. Is it PDS? No. No. Because no. we deal with PDS at our, where I work. And I did speak to this other gentleman that came to see you too, because mm -hmm. he told me he was going to come and do a presentation for you. Right. But. Um, there is several modules in, in Tiger where you can do the scanning. Um, the big issue is it's never been implemented. Right. And then we have Click Scan. That's another one that we've had for, I don't know, 15 years that we were scanning like all our accounts payable. Right. And it's worked really well for us. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Well, she and I used to work. I mean, being able to get, get the document right here instead of having to go to a filing cabinet. Yeah, it's great. You know, you to make a copy, it's already there. You can shoot payroll. Off, you know. We're, we're doing and, our and payroll and, too. HR. Now they we did we went with PDS and they scanned everything, but they just if you, uh, yeah, I would not recommend it right. because now they just took the file, and if there's three hundred pages in that file, they just went and they just scanned everything. There's no tabs and there's just it, it, find anything no it was not worth the money that we paid for and that mm -hmm. and, you know but you're better off receiving the training and then having somebody in-house and i don't know we, us we have our receptionist that does it that's what we did in our previous employment um, and like i said it was it was nice i mean it's time consuming and um, but once you get there you know, Right, because they would have been able to find those invoices for you. <laughs> okay, I'm Any other done taking on your AP time. checklist. Well, anything else, Mr. Dominic Chavez? No, sir. That's it. Okay. okay. 
Um, any questions at all? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just have the playground. Okay. We need to go back and uh, have a vote on the October finance report recommending approval to the council. Do you need a, a approval on it? Um, no, I don't think so. It's certainly either way. Um, I'll take it. <laughs> <coughs> So, so then uh, we'll move on to letter D, <clears throat> and uh, that's the next scheduled meeting for December 19th at 2 p.m. Uh, Mr. Frank and I more than likely won't be here, so we'll be taking over that meeting. Um, I'm not quite sure yet on the plans, but um, I might not be here. Okay. And <clears throat> call for adjournment. Motion to adjourn. Second. First, second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Right. Suppose uh, none. At the bank on our December meeting, we always have uh, eggnog. There's a bottle of whiskey lying around too, you know. 